What makes an iPhone truly important? Is it the yearly spec bump, the slightly faster chip, the extra megapixel? Or is it the quiet, foundational shifts that you don't fully appreciate until years later? When the iPhone 15 Pro Max was released, it was easy to see it as just another incremental update. A little lighter, a slightly better camera, a new port. But looking back from 2025, it's clear that something much bigger was happening. This wasn't just another iPhone. This was a paradigm shift in disguise. And in this deep dive, we're going to prove that the 15 Pro Max was secretly the most important iPhone of the decade. Let's start with the changes you can feel. The first was titanium. In 2023, it was a headline feature. In 2025, it's a daily reality. This isn't just about being lighter than the steel that came before it. It's about how that lack of weight changes the way you use a phone this large. It feels less like a dense brick and more like a balanced, intentional tool. The second change was the action button. For years, this was a simple mute switch. Now, it's a new muscle memory. For some, it's just a faster way to open the camera and capture a fleeting moment. For others, it's a gateway to complex shortcuts, turning on all your smart home lights with a single press. It wasn't just the removal of a switch, it was the addition of a new verb to the iPhone's language. But the biggest physical change wasn't the titanium or the button. It was this port. For years, the story of the pro iPhone was a story of dongles, but the move to USB-C wasn't a surrender. It was an emancipation. It was Apple finally unlocking the true potential of a pro phone, opening it up to a universe of professional accessories. For photographers, it meant connecting your camera and importing photos without a middleman. And for everyone, it meant the dream of a single cable for your MacBook, your iPad, and your iPhone was finally a reality. This was a quality of life upgrade disguised as a port. On the back, the story was about getting closer. The new 5X telephoto lens gave the Pro Max the reach it desperately needed. In 2025, other phones might have bigger numbers. But the quality and natural compression from this lens creates portraits and perspectives that are simply beautiful. It was the perfect focal length for the real world. But the true glimpse into the future was this, spatial video. In 2023, it felt like a feature without a home, a gimmick. But now, in 2025, with the Apple Vision Pro a reality, we finally understand. This wasn't a camera for your phone's screen. It was the first consumer camera for reliving your memories. It was Apple, planting the flag for the era of spatial computing. So let's put it all together. Titanium, the action button, USB-C, and spatial video. In hindsight, these weren't just bullet points on a spec sheet. They were foundational shifts. So, in retrospect, was the 15 Pro Max secretly the most important iPhone of the decade? In terms of setting the stage for the next era of computing, it's a powerful contender. And the most important question, should you still buy it in 2025? If you want the absolute latest and greatest, then no. But if you're a smart buyer, you'll realize this phone offers 95% of the modern experience for a significant discount. It is the perfect entry point into the world of pro features and the spatial computing ecosystem.